Listen, we got a great call to line up today, and I'm just excited about this young man. It's the first time ever on call. We have history together. We go back 22, 22, it's about 20, 22 years ago. But let me talk about Senior Vice President, Mr. Presley Swagger. He grew up with humble beginnings. He's a self-made, listen up, multi-millionaire, uh-huh, renowned worldwide uh, networker, businessman, speaker, and an author. He grew up from uh, Pleasant Grove, which is an impoverished part of a suburb outside of Dallas with his mom. So don't think you need to grow up. Think about it, impoverished area. A lot of us can relate to that. After years of struggling financially, he made a decision. He made a what? Decision. I can't wait to some of y'all make that decision to make a change in his life. Mm -hmm. He earned a, res he, he started earning residual income. Oh my God, hold on, I gotta stop right there. That's sexy. I got back up and say that. That's Miss Belinda Batiste, ain't that sexy? Residual income. He earned residual income in the millions of dollars. Listen up, Mr. Rick, millions of dollars of a sexy residual income. Woo, and wonder why I go fly, just go get seafood and bring back. Mm, mm, mm. In the last 17 years in his network marketing, he's, he's driven the company to over $7 billion to the top line of the company. That's, that's strong, $7 billion to the top line, that's strong. Uh, he, he's, he's been married to his lovely wife, uh, Jenny, for 37 years. Uh, he lives in Heath, Texas. I know where that's at. He's got two kids and three grandkids. And not, get this, folks. He also sponsored our guest speaker from yesterday, Mr. Randy Cowboy Hedge. <laughs> we go back. We got some history together. We have some history together. And if anybody can build up from a small town, hear this young man. Just You heard, you heard what, Mr., what Mr. Randy Hedge said about Ms. Swagger calling him, telling him he couldn't do it. Just go ahead and quit. And there's your sponsor today. So without further ado, Senior Vice President, Mr. Presley Swagger, let's give him a hand. Thank you so much, Al. I'm telling you, this is like a dream come true. You guys don't understand. And Al, we're getting older. It's about 20, 28 years that we've known each other. But uh, uh, Al's been one of my heroes ever since I got in network marketing. So back in the day uh, uh, when we were with Excel, I, I looked up greatly to Al Thomas. And uh, it's just an honor to be on here with him today. I'm excited, Al. Um, I'll go any direction you want me to go, brother. You just ask me whatever you want me to I I want, you, I want you to tell them some of the, some of the strikes and problems you had building mm -hmm. the company, uh, your, your business and ups and downs, because people think senior vice presidents, we just got there by pixie dust and don't understand we went through the muck and the mire and, and broken glass and barbed wire. So please share uh, the excitement or things that you went through to build your business from where you're at, from your humble beginnings to where you're at today. What, what did you have to go through? Well, all right, give I'll, I'll, I'll give you all a, a, a brief history of me, guys. Um, I, like Al said, I grew up in Pleasant Grove. That's in Southeast Dallas. There were, uh, you know, uh, I had no dad in my life. My mom worked in a sewing factory. We lived in a little old 600 square foot house that was falling down. There were two murders and a rape within seven houses of me, drugs all over the place. Uh, if it hadn't been for basketball, I, I wouldn't have made it. That was kind of what anchored me in life because I wanted to play basketball. Uh, after that, I became a high school basketball coach. I coached for 16 years at Lakeview High School in Garland, Texas. That's a suburb east of Dallas. I loved it, did it with a passion, sponsored the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Felt like I helped a couple of kids, but never made much money. Um, I finally decided the Dallas Mavericks or Los Angeles Lakers or none of those guys were going to call me. So I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. And a friend of mine showed me this business. I didn't understand it all, but I just kept thinking, gee, I think that might work. Essential services just kept going through my mind because I kept thinking, you know, they're going to use that stuff, whether it's with me or not. I don't have to convince them they need it. The other thing, and I'll hit on this one, residual income. You know, as a teacher, I'd never had any, but I sure knew I wanted some of it. So uh, uh, that's what got me going. I got in, I had a goal to make a thousand bucks a month. I thought, boy, if I can make a grand a month, it'll help me pay some bills. And took me about seven or eight weeks, but I got a check with a common. I was all pumped up, but I used to go to church with Zig Ziglar. And Zig would always say, go as far as you can see. And when you get there, you're going to be able to see further. Well, Zig was right. When we got it to a, a thousand, I could see three a month, then five and then 10 and then 20. And, you know, guys, uh, as Al pointed out, I've been blessed, Jeannie and I have to make millions of dollars and uh, you know, I'm just a blessed man. And it's, it's all because of, uh, 
uh, my gosh, essential services and network marketing and residual income. Um, as far as going through stuff, guys, I, I can tell you a story after story about getting stood up, getting told no, uh, you know, people just not wanting to do it. My gosh, my family, get this, they've watched me go from can't even pay my bills to, to millionaire and I still can't get most of them in. I mean, you know, you're gonna figure out it, it just is what it is. We're only looking for the ones that are looking and if I ain't looking, you know, get away from them. I, I, I tell people all the time, my theory on negative people is that my, my legs still work and I'm out of here. I'm just not gonna hang around negative people. I'm gonna, you know, get away from them and uh, go on. But, you know, it's a numbers game. My gosh, I, I get questions all the time. How have you made all that money? You know how I've made all that money? I have shown the plan and 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 shown the plan and, the plan and got tired of showing the plan. But you know what I did? I kept showing the plan and showing the plan and showing the plan. It doesn't take special ability, guys. I'm nothing special. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, not as handsome as Al is. I mean, I'm just out there working. And, uh, you know, we've been blessed to, to get a team and it's amazing. You get a you get, a, get it in front of a few people. Some of them are going to get in. And then all of a sudden, you, you got a Randy Hedge on your team. I mean, you know, I could just go down the list of key guys on my team that, that when I saw them, I didn't, I didn't think they were much. Mark Dean. Mark Dean is uh, an, uh, one of the top guys in my organization. I got him in. He was selling used cars. My daughter bought a BMW from him. And when we were finished, I said, do you look at other ways to make money? And he said, yes. I took him to lunch, showed him the plan. Guys, Mark Dean has put in over 100,000 IBOs, and that one man has probably made me $10, $12 million, that one leg. You just never know. And if you look at Dino, hey, I love Dino. I'd say it if he was standing here. But Dino, he's nothing special looking when you look at him. So you just don't know who's going to be your stud and who's not, or who's going to be your stud ed or who's not. You just share it with everybody. That was a long-winded answer, Al. No, no, I love it because people need to understand it just takes, you know, you can't tell the duds from the studs. You just got to go to the numbers. And like you said, just show the plan, show the plan. If I get more people out there, if everybody on the phone call showed the plan once or three times a day, man, tell you what, six months from now, they will not believe that comma check coming for Adam and it gets bigger, more zeros on it. And show the plan, show the plan. Tell everybody how you got Mr. Randy Head started, sir. I, I, I think that'd be a great story too. Tell them about that. Well, you know, timing is everything in people's lives. And uh, Randy was, when I got involved, uh, Randy was going through a bad divorce and it was just an ugly time. I mean, I tell people, I felt like I was, I was on a suicide watch with the boy, but I showed it to him and it just wasn't, wasn't a good time. I mean, obviously, you know, it was, like I said, an ugly divorce. And, uh, it, you know, I just kept for about five, six months, every time I'd see him, I'd go, Hey man, you know, you need to consider this. Hey man, don't forget about this. And, Finally, last couple of months, he'd start asking me about it. And then finally, uh, I went back to him like six months later. And he said, okay, guy, tell me, tell me about this, this, this networking deal you're doing. And, uh, you know, I, I went through it all again with him and he ended up getting in. And obviously he's another one of my big legs. So, you know, it, it's just stick with people. Very seldom are you going to talk to somebody and the minute they see it, they go, oh, I'm in, I'm in, sign me up, sign me up. How fast can I get in? You know, that is, that happens occasionally. But not very often, usually it's you follow up and get them to look at it again, maybe get them on a business presentation with Al or do something like that. I mean, you, you know, when I get off from showing somebody the presentation, I'm, if they don't sign up right then, I'm trying to get them lined up to look at it one more time, some way to keep them involved. And uh, there's a reason that forever, if you've been in networking, they, they say the fortune's in the follow-up. You just got to keep following up, guys. I mean, that's, that's the whole key. And then you know, I signed up. I mean, I showed 11 people the last two weeks for me. Back up, three weeks ago, I showed 11 people. And uh, for the first two weeks, I couldn't get any of them in. And I'm thinking, man, I'm losing my touch. Well, then in a 24 hour period, four of them signed up. I mean, th there's no rhyme or reason. You know, I, I tell people it's a lot like baseball. Sometimes you're up there and you're swinging that bat and you're just ripping everything. I mean, you're just knocking doubles and homers and just, just tearing the cover off of it. Next time, thing you know, you're up there swinging and you can't even touch the ball and, and you're trying to figure it out. But, you know, my son played professional baseball. And the one thing I, after being around all those good hitters, if they're in a slump, you know what they do? They just keep going to the plate swinging. And that's what we have to do in this business. You're going to figure out sometimes you're going to be in a hot streak and sometimes you're going to be in the cold streak. But you just keep showing the plan because it will change. I promise you. You know, I like the idea of what you just said. Show the plan, show the plan, show the plan, show the plan. If I get 
Boy, that was you guys need to write that down. That was a nugget right there. Show the plan. Hey, I don't feel good. Show the plan. Hey, it's hot outside. Show the plan. Hey, it's rain. So what? Show the plan. Just keep showing the plan. Showing the plan. Give us another uh, instance of uh, you being out there and some of the things you went through emotionally, uh, mentally as you start building your business that you said once you kind of doubted if you know it was, hey, am I am I the slow slump or what? But share another story too. I will. You know, first, I want to say, uh, all, all you guys watching, and Al didn't pay me to say this, I promise you, but, you know, you, you don't really understand. You, you are blessed to have, Al's not just a good networker. Al is a legend in the network marketing profession. So to, to be part of an organization where you literally have a legend teaching you how to do it, uh, you know, y'all really don't need me on here. I mean, you just need to listen to Al, but I'm happy to be here but you just need to understand what you've got your hands on. And that's not the case for everybody. You know, some people, their upline, they, they kind of get poo-pooed out and don't do much, you know, and they're having to do it on their own and they don't have that guidance and that leadership. But you guys, I mean, it, it is amazing to, uh, to be part of Al's organization. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, you know, Al, I could tell you this story after story. My gosh, uh, Guy, now, today, in today's world, I do a lot of Zooms, but a few years ago, we weren't doing Zooms, you know, and I had a guy who's going to meet me at Steak and Ale, and I mean, I confirmed, and I drive across town, take about 45 minutes, get there, Steak and Ale. The guy, I waited a while, I finally called him up and go, hey, where are you? Man? Oh, I forgot, can we do it tomorrow? All right, dude, we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, you know, we're on same time, Steak and Ale here on Main Street, Yeah. Guys, I drive back the next day. That sucker stood me up two times. Same guy stands me up two times. You know, I think sometimes you look and you go, oh, well, Al can do it. My, he's Al Thomas. Well, let me say something. In network marketing, Al Thomas is a big deal. But if Al Thomas is in the mall walking around, he's kind of like Presley. Might as well say he's a cosmic commander. I mean, they don't, most people don't know in network marketing who Al Thomas is. They don't know who Presley Swaggerty is. I mean, where we may have a little advantage is I do know my belief is through the roof because I've made a lot of money. So maybe that's a little advantage that way. But nobody knows who I am. If I walk out on the street and start talking to people, you know, I'm, I'm just another guy. So you got to understand it, it's not about your position. It's just about, guys, I'm where I am because I had a burning desire in my butt to be somebody. I, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer. I mean, I, you know, I, but I, you're not going to outwork me. And see, here's the deal. Everybody on, the, on this Zoom, if you'll get your butt out there and just start showing the plan, good things are going to happen. If you're setting your butt on the couch watching what I call a time-wasting electronic income reducer that some people call a TV, you know, you're not going to get anywhere, guys. This business, we can, we can learn a lot. I don't know all the freaking rates. You know that, guys? I don't know what all these rates are. You know, Zoom, I, I don't even know if I know what they are in my own city, let alone across the country. You know, I mean, Sphere, I mean, I love Sphere. We got a bunch of Sphere accounts, but I, I don't know all the details. You know what I do know? That if I get out there and show that plan and show that plan and show that plan, I'm going to make a lot of money. And I know where to find all that information. But I, I think sometimes we all get stuck in the weeds trying to learn everything. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I know about that much. That's all I know. And I don't care to know that much because my little hard drive is not that big. I can't fill it up with a bunch of junk that doesn't help me make money. The revenue producing activity in this business is showing the plan. And, you know, here's what I, I used to challenge my team to do when, when we actually had calendars out. I would say, you, in, in a week's time, we, we have what's called the coaching cowboy call every Sunday night. I'd say, you show the plan during the week and put a red star when you actually show the plan for somebody. And on Sunday night, before you get on our coaching cowboy call, you count how many red stars you got. If you don't have, if you're doing this part-time, you need five to 10 red stars. If you're doing it full-time, you need a whole lot more than that. But, you know, I'd say count your red stars. Well, guys, at the end of the week, if you've shown it to one person, guys, you're moving at a snail's pace. I can't, I'm not going to say you can't make a little money, but if you're wanting to make the Al Thomas money, you're going to have to get your butt out there and show the plan and show the plan and show the plan. There's a reason he's flying to Seattle, getting seafood and flying back home. There's a reason I'm in Key West, Florida this morning. I was out on a boat with my daughter fishing, you know, because we paid the price early to have the rest of our life to be able to do what we want to do. I mean, that that's the whole key for about the first four years. I did not look uh, somebody could have called me at two, two in the morning, Al, and I'd say, okay, where am I meeting you? I mean, I went. 
I showed that plan. There was a lot of times I didn't feel like it, didn't want to. I mean, but I went. And now I thank the Lord that I did because it, it's paid off. But if we could see the end at the beginning, we'd be killing it right now. Trouble is you can't. You just have to kind of get to the end, just step at a time, showing those plans and showing those plans and getting disappointed and then getting happy and then getting disappointed and then getting happy. And we just keep going. And then you run into a Randy Hedge or a Mark Dean and all of a sudden your whole life changes right there. Because literally you're one person away from your whole life being different. That was you know, a long, long drawn out answer, Al. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's good. They need to hear that because I do a day in, day out. Day, I'm 24 I mean, people don't understand. It's, it's all about going, doing, showing the plan, showing the plan. And the, it's so true. That if they saw that, just got to put the work in. It's, there's no shortcut. And like I said, I'm like you, man. I know nothing about nothing. I just know people. It's all about people. And people think <laughs> they get all, I, I don't know. My, my people know I'm dumb as a bag of rocks, man. They know I'm dumb as a bag of rocks. But because I keep it simple, I, I don't, they don't pay me enough to know all that. It just, they pay me to go get an IBO, get some customers, money come out. Like old Steve Smith, you know, put a couple of, put the, blue, fill out the, this form. Huh? <laughs> blue and two. That's right. Blue and two. Tell everybody about the blue and two. They don't know that. Tell them about the blue and two. Well, back in the Excel days, the, the vice president that came up with the network marketing portion, a guy named Steve Smith, who was also a legend. Mm -hmm. We used to call him Captain Fun. Uh, <laughs> Steve just said, go get this blue form. Now, this is back when you, you actually had to fill out forms. Go get this blue form and attach a couple of these little pink forms, which were customer forms. You get that blue form, attach a couple of pink forms to it, and we're going to send you money. And, you know, that's the way the thing is, guys. And here's the other thing that I want to point out because I get this all the time. Well, you know, Presley, my team's just not doing much. Okay, go get a new team. My gosh, I can show you where probably 80% of my organization isn't doing anything. But the 20% that's going, they're making me a whole lot. And get this, in our business, even if, as Randy would say, even if that chicken dies, those eggs are still there. In other words, that IBO can stop working, but you're going to figure out that those customers stay on for a long time. Uh, I would dare say most of my money comes from dead organizations. See, that's where we've got such an advantage over product-driven companies. Because a product-driven company, that leg dies, they're not going to order those vitamins anymore. Those auto ships are going to stop. But with us, they keep paying that electric bill and that cell bill and that Zoom bill. And that I mean, you can just keep going down the list. So, you know, if your team's not working, hey, that's great. Give them a call every once in a while. Shoot them an email every once in a while. But go build you a new leg. I mean, if yeah. we're set, I can't let a dead group of people determine my future. Now, I'm there. And I'll tell them a lot of times. I'll say, listen. I'll go, listen, Joe. I don't know why you're not working. If you ever decide you want to get going again, you call me. But I said, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't drag you. I can run with a thousand easier and I can drag one. So, you know, you call me if you want to get this thing going again, but I'm, I'm going to get with people that want to do something. And I mean, I, I'm nice about it. I don't make it sound ugly, but you know, you, you can't just keep begging people because I think one of our biggest mistakes as networkers is we spend our time with the wrong people. Guys, if you've got three people on your team that, that's working hard, do you realize you should spend 75% of your time with those three people? Those duds, my gosh, maybe give them a call every once in a while, but I ain't spending much time with my duds. I'm working with the people that are working. I'm working with the people that are going the same direction I'm going, that are pulling the rope the same way I'm going. We can't keep spending time with people that we're just trying to drag along. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You wanting it more than they want, and it doesn't help them. I mean, if they don't want it for themselves, it's over guys. I mean, they ain't gonna do it. And you got to understand we're just looking for a few. We're looking for a few because look at the vast majority of people out there. They don't do anything anyway. I mean, they just don't. And we're just looking for the ones that are looking. You know, that remind me of, uh, we have the same philosophy. I tell my group every, every year, begin to you call everybody on your downline. Don't, I, they're not doing it. Call them and say, hello, just thinking about you. And then don't say anything. They'll ask you about the business. Just call everybody. People don't understand that philosophy. And I'm sure glad you're saying it because Sometimes, you know, the Bible said the prophet's not warned his own town. I say the same thing you said, but they'll catch it better coming from you than from me. I said the same exact thing you think you said. You know, it's funny yesterday. I get off the plane. I go, I go down and meet a buddy of mine from high school, and I walked in the restaurant, and I had my Louis Tuck bag on. The kids start prospecting me, and I, he was the network marketing. I turned the thing around. It was so funny, man. And uh, I, I said, what are you doing? What network? He told me what it was. I'm not going to say. I said, so let me ask you a question. I said, let me ask you a question. I said, let's say there's a thousand people in the room. How many people will use your service? I have a thousand. I said, how many hands will go up? He said, oh, about 30, 40%. I go, watch this. 
how many people use a cell phone in the room? He said, all thousand. I go, no, 1,200, because some got two. <laughs> and I turned the kid around real quick. It was so funny. Uh, I wanna, I've want i got a question or two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Mr. Julian Lewis unmute his phone real quick. One of our regional directors, Mr. Julian Lewis has a question for you. And also I'd like to, while he's doing that, I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Curtis Evans and Ms. Darlene Evans, because they're back in the old company where they're, they're doing real big things over here with us too, Mr. Swagger. So Mr. Julian Lewis, what's your question? Good morning, sir, and thank you for being on the call. I do have a question. Uh, Randy right, said, right. Randy said something yesterday. He said, um, "What what uh, Mr. Swaggerty is great at is telling someone how good they smell while secretly spraying cologne on them." And from a leadership, which was great, it was a great one-liner. But I also know the extent of the the philosophy and leadership as a coach. I'm sure you had to do that often. And I, and I wanted to know if you could explain, because um, that's magical, if you can explain as a leader what that looks like in helping um, someone to realize their potential. Well, back when I was coaching, you know, you'd take a kid that you saw, he had some talent and some potential, but he didn't believe in himself. And uh, I would, uh, you know, just tell him, come on, baby, you, you, you're, my, you're my player. I'm counting on you. You can do this. Come on, man. You can be one of my starters. Let's go. You just got to keep working hard. It's all going to fall into place. Let's go. Well, in this business, it's the same thing. I, I see people, and I'm sure everybody on here does. You see people that have tons of potential. And, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they, they, they just don't believe in themselves or whatever. So I'm always going, come on, let's get you to that, that, that next pin level. Let's get you, uh, you know, you're making 500 miles. Let's get you to a thousand. Come on, let's, uh, you can do this. I mean, I'm just always telling people you can do it. Come on, baby, you can do this. Let's go. I'll help you. You got me on your team. Let's go. Let's do this. Get me on a Zoom. Let's do something. Get your team together. Let's do a team Zoom. Let's, you know, I'm just always telling people, yes, you can do it. Come on, let's go. And, you know, I, I'm like Al, I, I tell people all the time, guys, I ain't that sharp, but I work hard. And if you're willing to work hard, you can do anything I've done. You can do anything Al's done. I mean, it's just get your butt out there and, and get to doing it. Now, let me say this about our, our company too. Here's something we all need to understand here. I had my best year and, you know, I don't know about you, Al, but my best year was in 2008 when the economy dipped. My best year ever in network marketing, 2008. Do you realize you don't have to be a Harvard economist now to realize that uh, the inflation is spiraling, gas prices have doubled, food prices are going through the roof. I mean, guys, we're, we're in a little bit of a downturn. I'm predicting that 2022 and 2023 are going to be the two biggest years we have had in a long time because I'm telling you, people are going to be looking for those high side hustles, those side gigs, trying to make more money because filling that car up is all, all of a sudden going to go from 50 bucks to 100 bucks. And all of a sudden they're going, hey, I got to get some more money. The other thing is with everything that's happened lately, people are realizing that they need another source of income, guys. And we've got the answer to their prayers. And here's what makes us so special. Again, it's stuff they're going to use anyway. So why aren't they using it from themselves, making some money? And guys, we, we've got the best of both worlds right now. Great timing and a great company. And notice what our company's doing, man. They keep adding stuff. They keep, I mean, we're with a company that's not sitting on their laurels and guys, they could, those founders are phenomenally wealthy. They could go off and probably buy an Island somewhere, you know, but they're still in the game. They're still working. They're still looking for that next product. They're looking for that next company. They're looking for that next, whatever. Thank the Lord. We got people that are pulling the rope with us the same way we're pulling it. They want to be the number one network marketing company in the world. I want them to be because that just means more money for us guys. You know, you said something that was pretty profound. Thank you, Mr. Lewis, for the question. Yes, thanks. Uh, you said something that I've said, and I want to say this one more time. I want everybody to write this down, what Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Swagger said. He said he outworks everybody. Now, where have y'all heard that before? I'm not the youngest. I'm not the fastest. And I know I ain't too handsome. But I'll, I'll just flat out of work everybody. On, and I've said that. And, 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 and hear him say it's like, uh, there's a reason why he's a senior vice president. He just told you, he will outwork everybody. Folks, when you make that decision, he's he made a decision about changing his life. He made a decision about outworking everybody. It's just not, look, there's nothing magical, no degrees. I mean, some people got more degrees than the, he just told you, he just out, flat out outworked people. God dang, it's like, I'm, I'm listening to myself again. Just a little lighter version of myself here on the phone. <laughs> I love you, Al. Um, you know, and here, here's what I'll tell you. 
you say, okay, I'm not as good at this as Al Thomas is. Oh, okay? no, get out that of here. That might be true. You may not be quite as good, okay? But here's the deal. If Al talks to 10 people and gets six of them, and you talk to 10 people and get three of them, well, then if you talk to 20 people, you'll get six just like Al did. Mm -hmm. Then that means you need to work a little harder than Al's working. I mean, you may need to talk to twice as many people to get the same results as what Al's doing. But here's the deal, though. I promise you, if you keep doing it, you're going to get better, and pretty soon you'll get four out of 10 and five out of 10. You may even pass him up and get seven out of 10. But you say, well, I'm not as good as Al, or I'm not as good as my upline, or I'm, then screw it. Who cares? Just outwork them. There, there's nobody on here that can't work harder, guys. I mean, I have worked my butt off, and I look back, Al, and I still say, I, I, I kick myself in the butt for not working hard. And here's the key. When a company is getting in a momentum phase, that's when you make the big money, guys. And we're in a momentum phase right now. We're coming into that momentum phase. That's, I mean, you can make money when we're not in a momentum phase. Absolutely. But if you want to get the crazy Al Thomas kind of money, you do it hard as you can when you're going into that momentum phase. You don't sleep. You don't eat. You don't, I mean, you get your butt out there and just show the plan and show the plan and show the plan and show the plan. And you'll get sick of it. I promise you. And you're going to get depressed when somebody no shows y'all that, but you just keep showing the plan and showing the plan and showing the plan. Guys, we all got a chance, and I know I'm not supposed to say this out, but we all got a chance to make millions of dollars if we'll get our button gear. Now, I'll throw my disclaimer out. I can't guarantee anybody making millions of dollars, but I know if Al Thomas and Presley Swaggerty can make tens of millions, you can make a few million yourself. That's right, on the way. You know, it's like check, check, and work, 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 check, check, and work, work, check, 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 and after a while it's work, work, check, 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 and after a while it's work, check, 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 check. And it's so true. If everybody would just... Adhere to this and and run and just show the plan. Who cares what the outcome is? Just keep showing it. That is a key right there. Oh my God! He you know, just, Jeff, he Street, Jeff Street did a deal um, that that I love. He does that hundred squares. Yep. Get get you a piece of a poster board or a big tablet or something and put you a hundred squares on there. And then every time you show a presentation for you, not your team, but for you. You write their name and their telephone number in that little square. Well, guys, I'm doing that right now. I've filled up 11 squares in the last three weeks. You know, not just I'm, when I say show them the plan, that ain't talking to them on the street corner. That's getting them on a Zoom or you sitting down in front of them. But I've shown 11 people. And out of that 11 people now, four of them signed up in a 24-hour period. And I got two more. So I got six out of my last 11. But I'm going to fill my 100-square deal up because that's what I need to be doing, too, if I really want to take this to the next level. And I do. I mean, I've been blessed to make a whole lot of money. But, you know, I'm not there yet. I'd still like to make a little more. I don't know about you, Al. I mean, you know, my mind never stops. I'm in Key West, Florida for four days, seeing my daughter. She's a singer. We came down to hear her sing. I'm taking her fish and all that, but I'm still working while I'm here. But then Saturday I get back in town and it'll, it'll be get after the program for the next few days because we, we, we can have fun, but I play hard, but then I work hard. And uh, guys, if you'll get that philosophy that, yeah, we're going to have some fun. We're going to play hard. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff in life. But when I'm working, baby, I am focused and I am working and, uh, you know, we got a chance. We got a chance to kill it right now. That's all I can say. We got a chance to kill it. And if if you're sitting on your butt watching that time wasting electronic income reducer, guys, you ain't gonna get there. I love what you said because we're. I feel the same way you do. We are in a momentum phase right now, like crazy. And I th I hope nobody misses because I I called up all the RVPs in my group. I said, look, y'all got to get after it. This is you know like man, this is it, it, it's crazy right now. And I'm telling you what, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, if, if we have how many more days. We got exactly uh, 15 more days. We all come together in Oklahoma. Looking forward to seeing you in Oklahoma, my friend. And I know you'll be there with your team. And God bless you. And I thank you for taking time out of taking time out fishing with your daughter down there in Florida. And you'll be back with us next Thursday. We thank you so much. Give us a few words in closing and we'll let you get back to, to your daughter and fishing. Well, I, I will do that. A couple of things. One, you're not serious if you don't figure out a way to get to Oklahoma City. I'm telling you, there's a key. I don't know of any top money earners in any company, and I've spoken at Worry's deal and talked to all folks from all over the world. I don't know of any top money earners with any company that doesn't show up to their big events. I mean, I, I just don't. So to me, success leaves clues. And to me, that is a big clue. And understand when I got in, man, there would be four of us in a cheap hotel room. I would be eating chicken nuggets at McDonald's. 
I mean, I would do, we'd, we'd rent us a little van and everybody pitch in 20 bucks to get it. I mean, I just tell people whatever it takes, because that's the game changer for you is getting your button gear. And when you walk out of those events, your belief level is sky high. And that's when you can do so much damage. I mean, that's when you can just rock the world by doing that. But uh, it's my pleasure to be on guys. You're going to figure out with me. I, I obviously help my team, but I'll help anybody. I mean, I believe what goes around comes around. Absolutely. And if you guys ever need some help, you, you're welcome. Al's got my number. You can call and I'll help you just like I would somebody on my team. Uh, I, I love this guy. He's been an idol of mine for years. And uh, it is just an honor to be on here with Al. Sir, thank you. It was a pleasure. Uh, I was so happy to hear it when you came over from the other team to come join the ACN family. And I just called them up on the uh, – COC called and to welcome them uh, with open arms to our company and been known for over tw uh, 28 years, 30, 28 years. My God, would the time go? My friend, I want to thank you for your time today. God bless you. And we'll see you next Thursday. And I appreciate you so much. Give your daughter a big hug for me and tell all the genie. Oh, well, I, got, I got one question for you. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Do you, do you still do your little hoo-hoo? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, there it is, man. I remember that from years ago. I just had to make sure that you were doing that. But I know uh, I could walk in a room and do that. And everybody's oh, hey, Al Thomas is here. Al Thomas uh, yes, sir. Is here. All right, brother. Stay in touch. We'll see you next Thursday. All right, man. God bless you. Thank you God so much. All you guys.